This is a short chair yoga video to do at home. And I hope it finds everybody well. Just a little bit of movement to uh, make it a better day. <laughs> a little stretching, a little strengthening, a little relaxing. So we'll get comfortable as I usually like to do with um, a uh, chair yoga practice. We'll warm the hands up a little bit. Take a couple deep breaths. Lift the arms, breathe in. And then make fisted hands, exhale and breathe out. And just take this a couple times, breathing in, breathing out, warming up, oxygenating the body, making a transition from whatever you've been up to, to your chair, to your yoga space, to your practice. And we're just going to hold the arms here for a couple seconds. Breathe in, breathe out, bring the arms down. And let's bring one hand to the chest, one hand to the belly. We can attune to the breath here, feel the body moving with the inhalation and the exhalation. And whenever you feel like it, bring the hands to the knees or thighs and just relax the shoulders. Take in the sense of your breath here to quiet the mind, to relax the body. We can all notice how we're feeling wherever we are, whatever time it is. Just being self-aware is key. And then as we lift the hands, our self-awareness may open us to an intention or affirmation, a thought for the day or the days ahead. It could be peace, it could be strength, it could be patience, it could be stamina, flexibility, whatever resonates. With our intention set, big breath in, hands together, interlacing the fingers. We'll take the feet apart and stir the pot. So we just go round and round with this one. It's nice for the shoulders, a little bit for the back and the hips. And stir both directions. Nice and easy, as I always say. And then let's do a little movement. Watch out for the back of your chair, but we're just going to take one arm forward and then the other. So kind of reaching and pulling it. And we sit up tall and keep the shoulders good and relaxed with this one. Okay, and then there's a movement I usually do standing, but I'm going to take it seated here today. It's called pulling prana. And that means kind of awakening energy. So we come forward. And then palms turn up, we pull back and just take that a couple of times forward and back. Once again, inhale, exhale, good. And then a little heaven and earth. So listen to your shoulders here, but you're going to press one palm towards the sky, one palm towards the earth, and then switch sides. And this is said to help to balance us, to wake us up if we're a little sleepy, to ground us if we're a little overactive or anxious. <laughs> Hopefully we're not, but one never knows. Good, last time. And then just bring the arms down. We're gonna lean forward and give a little pump to the arms here. Pump, 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 pump. Come on up. This is called Swaro Cactus Arms. We can breathe in and breathe out. Now I'll turn a little so you can see there's a choice also to get a little flexion and extension into the spine here. Breathing in, breathing out. One more time, inhale, exhale, and then just take the arms out wide, Swaro Cactus, squeeze the elbows towards the rib cage and back. And two more times, those who uh, take chair yoga classes with me on Zoom know this one well because we always do it to strengthen the upper middle back. And then arms can extend back. We'll hold on to the chair and just lean forward, elongate the neck, relax the face. Okay, we'll just do a little bit for the legs and then we'll do it just a brief bit of standing work and then come back to seated. So I usually like to kind of move the feet a little bit here and then just take a bit of movement to one leg. This is very uh, familiar again to many of you who see me regularly, but I think it's good for the joints. And after the knee, we'll take care of the ankle. Okay. And you can also um, have your foot to the floor and circle your foot that way. So it's a little easier to have the foot down, heel touching. You can do that. And then we'll point and flex. Okay, 
my foot coming into your living room there, but I'm going to show it with the heel to the floor, point and flex. Okay, we'll bring that foot down. We'll do the other side. So the knee to begin with, bend and straighten, bend and straighten. Circle, okay. And if you want to have your heel touching down, you can circle that way. Okay, so our ankle joints really don't get as much attention as they deserve. We want to keep them strong and flexible. Okay, and then we'll be pointing and flexing. Maybe your heel to the floor, maybe your foot lifted. Pedal to the metal, that's what I call it. <laughs> okay, two feet to the floor. Let's breathe in, big, big breath. Adjust the feet as needed because we're going to Float and fly, just coming down with the chest, down with the arms, and then up, inhale, exhale. Get this last time, let's come up, and you can take swaro cactus arms or bring your hands together. We'll just do a little side stretch. Ooh, yeah, that opens up between the ribs. And then relax the arms down, maybe turn your head a little side to side. All these stretches can be done, you know, just one of them or two of them during the day. They help with mobility, flexibility, and keeping the body comfortable and relaxed. Okay, and how about relaxing a little more with the neck? The chin can go down and then up, down, and up. And then we'll just take a moment, kind of check in with how we're, we are feeling. Um, I think we can come up to standing and please take your time, use furniture if you need to. And you can always pause the video if you need to take care of things in your home environment before continuing on. And I'm gonna lift my microphone up just a little bit. So hopefully I'm clear with my audible aspect of things here. Adjusting the screen. I always have to do this twice, making sure I get it right, more or less. <laughs> yeah. So we are in our standing position. Hopefully you all have made it up. Take a moment, just give a little shake. You can hold on to the chair and shake if you want to. And then just planting the feet, we'll roll the shoulders again and you can kind of bend the legs a little bit here. So the whole body stays pretty relaxed. And if you're in the mood to go for a little swim, you could imagine you're in the pool, the lake, the ocean, a backstroke here. And if it works better for your shoulders to modify like so, that is nice also. Couple deep breaths, good. And then we'll come back. Now watch out for your chair, but we're gonna come down just as we did seated and up. We'll bring the hands together. And we'll press through the palms. Okay, we'll release. And you may or may not need the chair for these next moves, but it's nice to know the chair is available. So standing tall to begin with. And then let's just come off of the heels and back down a few times. And this is good for strengthening the feet, the ankles. It works our balance as well. Okay, again, we'll be standing nice and tall here, lifting the chest a little bit. And then we'll go into our first downward dog. And with the chair, we have the hands to the back of the chair. We elongate the spine. You can bend the legs a little if you want to. And then look up and let's bring the right foot forward. Okay, so hands to the chair. And then once you get into your high lunge or warrior one position, you can decide if you wanna take one or both hands off the chair. It's everybody's choice. It works just fine holding on to the chair. Every day is different. Okay, here we are. Take some focus, staying steady. We're gonna bring the hands back to the chair, straighten the front leg and come forward. So we'll stretch the back of the leg here. We'll come up and then a little bit of a balancing act, pressing off of the back foot. And it is great to keep the hands to the chair. Some people may be comfortable lifting. And then happily two feet back down to the earth. <laughs> and we'll take a big breath in. And before side two, we'll do a little monkey stretch. Fisted hands, just going side to side. Get back to center. 
And then another downward facing dog, hands to the chair. And we'll elongate here, stretch, and just hopefully release a little of what's tight in the back and shoulders. And then we can look up and it will be the left foot coming forward. So this is the second side of our high lunge, also known as warrior one. And you can keep the hands to the chair or lift a little bit or higher still. And just kind of fix your gaze and try to keep your mind from wandering. That helps us with our balance to really stay present. And then hands to the chair, we'll straighten the front leg. We're gonna lean forward and you'll feel the back of that leg saying a little something to you probably. <laughs> if nothing else, just hello. Uh, the muscles are getting stretched and they are feeling it. And then we'll come up for our balance. So hands to the chair, press all for the back foot. And maybe you keep the hands on the chair, maybe you release. And then two feet down and just shake a little bit, relax. I'm gonna just do a few hip circles and you could have your hand uh, to the chair or both hands to your hips for this. Okay, two or three each direction would be probably great. And then as we finish up our hip circles, we'll just do a little bit more standing here, um, taking the feet wide and you have your chair if you need it. So the wide stance with the legs bent is called horse stance from Qigong. And I like to sometimes bend the arms as well. Okay, so you'll be engaging the tummy and the pelvic floor. We're just gonna go together and apart with the arms two or three times. Okay, now the legs are working hard here. So see if you can stay in the um, horse stance position and just go side to side, once to each side and then straightening up, okay? And use the chair if you want to, we'll do a warrior two, and that would look like this. And then we'll take it into a side stretch. Now what I like with the chair, I'm gonna move a little so I can show this, is one hand to the chair, the other arm overhead. And if you're a mirror image of me, it would be your right arm overhead. Okay, and then we'll take our warrior two, to the second side, just in your feet. You can see what I'm doing there. I'm barefoot, but you might have shoes on. Both ways are fine. Okay, warrior two, strong and steady. And then side stretch, and maybe the hand or forearm or to the thigh or to the chair. Ooh, opening up here. And then we'll come back. And this is called five pointed star. And when I taught kids yoga, I used to count one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> five points. So just feel the energy of your body, feel strong and steady. And then relax the arms, we'll bring the feet together. Let's do just a little more shaking here. We'll do a quick balance, a chi wash, and then we'll sit back down. Okay, so the balance, I'm going to just take one foot off the floor. It could be the heel or the whole foot. And you can have two hands to the chair if you'd like. See how things go. Okay, second side, your heel or your whole foot. Maybe hands to the chair, maybe ooh, hands free. And then two feet down, breathe in, watch out for your chair here, but we'll bend the legs, fold forward as we breathe out. And then all the way up. Now the chi wash is um, a, a technique from Qi Gung. And what we do is just stand still just for a couple of moments. And you can keep the hands to the body or relax along by your sides or hold on to the chair. The idea is we stand quite tall and we just relax the body and the mind. So we invite all good healing energy and positive thoughts into our bodies, our minds, our spheres of being. Just a couple deep breaths here, appreciating the day. And that's a short chi wash, but a good one, I hope. We'll relax and come back to seated just for a moment or two, just to have this slightly shorter practice today, which you can hopefully fit into your schedule at almost any time. 
adjust the screen, come in close. You have pause if you want to get some water or anything else. One more adjustment here. It takes me two times, as I said, <laughs> to get it just right. Here we are. All right, so a little more time for everyone to get back into their chairs. And this is the moment I usually do a little um, gratitude to the hardworking muscles of the lower body. So you can just pat, pat, pat. Thank you, thank you. Legs and knees and ankles and feet. <laughs> In Qigong, they work these pressure points at the body. Okay. And then once we've got that taken care of, let's take a full breath in. We're going to bring the hands together. And we'll go ahead one more time and press through the palms. Take the feet a little wider. Let's come out wide. Okay, I'm gonna have us bend the arms and breathe in. And then exhale, draw the belly in, tuck the chin as you breathe out. And this is a, a nice opening stretch for the chest, but it also works the core muscles. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, exhale. Speaking of the core, I better sneak boat pose in. Again, I'm gonna turn so you can see what I'm doing. You can face straight forward. So I'm gonna do the bobbing boat here. We're gonna plant the heels. Or you can have both feet to the floor, whatever you'd like. But my feet are a little bit forward. My spine is long and I'm just gonna bob back and forth. So the bobbing boat is kind of a pulsing movement. Relax the shoulders and the face. Feel the work in the midsection. And then go ahead and if you can hold here and those who want more intensity could lift one leg, you could have your hands down if that feels better and then the other. Okay, so I'm gonna do that one more time. I really feel these muscles working. Lift and then lower, lift and lower, inhale. Let's take that forward fold one more time where we hold on to the frame of the chair just to stretch out and elongate, but not have the head go too far down. And then I think we'll just sneak a twist in and I'll keep it kind of um, straight forward today. So the feet can be to the floor. The legs are bent, obviously. We're gonna rotate one direction and hold and breathe. And then come up to center and twist, rotate the other way, hold and breathe. And you could add more of these or, you know, remember to do this during the day. It's a nice little exercise if you've been sitting in a chair for a while or whatever it may be. And then we'll finish with a little deeper forward fold and the hands can come to the shins or down to the ankles. And you can go halfway or you could continue on. Be mindful of your back here but some folks are pretty comfortable just letting the head rest and relax towards the earth. Uh, all tension melting away. And we do come up slowly so you don't get a head rush. And as I mentioned, this is kind of an abbreviated chair practice. So there are things that you may want to add. You can always pause the video and do a couple more um, stretches, figure four, or anything else that you would like. Um, I think for the purpose of today, we'll just get ourselves comfortable and have a brief relaxation. And that's always one of the best parts of a yoga practice anyway. So as you just make sure you've... Uh, Gotten care of, taking care of all your adjustments here in your chair, maybe a pillow to your back, maybe a jacket or something over you if it's chilly. Just begin to relax the shoulders, bring the hands to the legs or cup one hand in the other. And you can soften the gaze or close the eyes, just taking in a little less visual information so we can direct the awareness inward. Ah, nice and warm after the movements that we've done, just feeling comfortable in our bodies. Let's breathe in and breathe out. And all unnecessary thoughts, feelings, aggravations, tensions, just wash away on that exhalation. So we'll do that again, breathing in and breathing out. And then let's allow the breath to find its natural rhythm. We'll stay in stillness just for a couple moments. A chance to quiet the body and the mind, to digest what we've done. 
a chance to release, to relax, and to let go completely. Always pause the video and stay longer in your relaxation. If you're staying on with me here, just a couple more moments, just enjoying the peace and the stillness within and around us. Okay, we'll begin to move here. And as a good friend of mine said, a yoga friend, uh, the period of rest in yoga is like a mental reset. So as we come back, perhaps we'll see things a little more clearly, uh, have a little different perspective on whatever's going on in our day. That's usually a good thing. Let's keep moving, reawakening, blinking a little bit. And then we'll go ahead and lift the arms when you feel ready do a little fluttering bring in what's clear and positive move along anything if there's anything left that you don't need <laughs> and then from our fluttering we'll bring the hands together this is prayer position on Jale mudra and i always like a few final moments with the hands at the heart to appreciate being able to practice yoga to come back to our intentions or affirmations if we have one And I'll finish with the Sanskrit word for peace, Om Shanti, Shanti, peace. Peace in our bodies and our minds and our hearts. So thank you for joining me today. And with peace in my heart, I offer you a warm namaste. Have a great day. And I'll see you again soon.